Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Charuri. Uh, thank you for joining my presentation. Today, I will share my experience about rebuilding security critical program binary in Linux with compile time hardening options uh, like safe stack and CFI. Introduction. Why compile time hardening is important? Uh, think about zero day. When program developed, uh, some vulnerability introduced. The problem is that until the security patch, some security hole period happened. Security hole starts from exploit released in the wild and in the end patch deployment completed. The problem is that many attackers know the vulnerability and they make exploit code and they use exploit code to corrupt some Linux system. It said attackers, nobody knows the vulnerability. So this means in that period, the program remains under attack. And how we can protect a program having exploit? The compile time hardening provide protection mechanism. So by compile time hardening, the binary have some security technique inside. So reducing some attack possibility and actually remove attack point. In the end, we can raise the bar for attackers. In this chapter, I explain why I choose safe stack and CFI compiler hardening option. First, we have to understand what is control flow hijacking. Left the picture, uh, you can see the control flow hijacking flow chart. Uh, for helping understand, I prepared some memory map. For control flow hijacking, at first, uh, the corrupt data pointer. Data pointer is BOF buffer with size 10. For uh, if we, we want to corrupt this data pointer, BOF buffer, uh, we input uh, over size like 15. And next step is modify a code pointer. In this slide, uh, code pointer is return address. Uh, so we modify return address to some address of a shared code. This is step two and three. And for executing injected shared code, we use return instruction. At the end of the function, return instruction is called. So if we overwrite return address by share code address, we can jump to an address which store a, a share code. Of course, share, calls, share code is in an executable memory area. Finally, we change the original flow of the program. In this page, you can see the some protection mechanism against control flow, control flow, control flow uh, hijacking attack. There are many many uh, research and techniques, but we only choose 
uh, mechanism fully implemented as part of GCC or CRM. First uh, is memory safety for preventing corrupt data pointer. Address sanitizer is used for memory safety testing, uh, fortify option, modify code more secure, or we can develop uh, some system programming by memory type safe language like Lust. Second, for preventing modifying code pointer, uh, safe stack check code pointer integrity, uh, specifically in the back of the edge, uh, like function return. Third, for making hard to search uh, address of gadget or share code, which can be used to attack or we can use randomization uh, like ASLR or self-lando. Self-lando is not uh, pre implemented in uh, GCC or uh, CRN, but uh, check sec tool check uh, the self-lando, so uh, we include it. And Fourth, for preventing using some uh, pointer, like a return pointer or indirect call pointer, uh, the bad bad guys, attackers using this point, a uh, bad purpose, cause uh, control flow integrity technique is needed for backward edge. Uh, stack gallery is widely used, but uh, control flow integrity, specifically in uh, indirect core, is not popularly to used for hardening. Finally, uh, for preventing executing of novel code, uh, we can set memory property to non executable uh, by NX bit or uh, Lilo options. This is the default compiler hardening option in Debian package. Uh, for memory safety, Fortify is enabled. Uh, for randomization, uh, ASLR is enabled. And for control flow integrity, uh, stack is enabled and for non executable data, uh, NSP reload option is enabled. So, uh, what is the problem? By this default Debian hardening option, we can only stop this path this, this, and this, and this. We cannot stop this path, modify a code pointer, and use pointer by indirect call and jump. So, Debian default option is not enough to prevent control pro hijacking. For raising the bar for attacker and reducing possibility of attack success, we add more, more, hardening option at, at this point, this point, and this point. Safe stack option make a some bar at this point for preventing modifying a code pointer, and CFI make a bar for preventing some uh, indirect core violation. There is one question, where is the bar at this point? Uh, making harder for preventing executing a wearable gadget or function. Uh, this is very, very difficult problem. So purely practical solution is not yet implemented in GCC or CRAN.
let's talk about what is safe stack and control flow integrity. This is important to understand the uh, how build error and testing error arise. So uh, we first uh, understand a safe stack and control flow integrity. Safe stack uh, is part of code pointer integrity project. Theoretically, CPI is stop or control pro hijack attacks, but overhead is very, very high and not implemented in GCC and GRANG. Safe stack is only to stop back order edge but overhead is almost none and pre implemented in CRAM. Let's see the concept of LLVM safe stack. Safe stack divides memory stack into two uh, unsafe stack and safe stack. Unsafe object is stored on unsafe stack and other object like RIP, RVP, functional argument, or a safe object is stored on safe stack. Let's think if there are buffer which can be uh, overflowed uh, like this, the buffer is decide unsafe object and stored on unsafe stack. Two stack, unsafe stack and safe stack is separated. So unsafe object overflow doesn't affect the safe object like return address. LLVM reduced the ability of a uh, attacker to redirect program execution to an um, attacker controlled destination. The full uh, control flow grab is constructed in link time optimization. A perfect uh, control flow grab is undesirable problem so uh, we can get approximately C, uh, CFG. Uh, if program go abnormal flow, uh, CFI enforcement mechanism detect a violation according to the generated CFG. Uh, Eleven CF, CFI is fine-grained CFI. Intel uh, CTIBT technique is also coarse grain uh, CFI, but precision is low. So fine grain uh, CFI is better and uh, the precision is the better. So uh, LFN CFI is used type-based control flow integrity. This is concept of LFM CFI. LFM CFI uh, make a CFI jump table like this. In this source code, there are function bar, but, but, bad. When link time optimization for making CFI jump table, uh, functions are found with the same function type. Uh, this is function pointer have type uh, void to void and uh, CFI have to find void and void type function type var, buzz, buzz. But buzz have to exclude it because buzz uh, not assigned in, in the program context, but 
bar and bars is assigned in the program concept context. So more precisely function point analysis performed this work. By this function point analysis uh, uh, removed the bars choice. So in the end, final CFI jump table have bar bars functions. Now we only check whether a function pointer is between bar and bars functions. If a bars function is assigned in the context and the bars function is defined in dynamic library, how can we deal with this, this situation? And what if it does program link dynamic library? Eleven CFI support to protect indirect core across a dynamic shared object boundaries. But this option is experiment, but work well. But honestly, many build error is a non simple problem. Target packages. Practically, uh, rebuilding all packages is impossible. In Debian 10.9, uh, 1,363 packages installed. So there are so many packages. So we set higher prior priority in a uh, aspect of security. Uh, Debian community provides some guideline, higher priority audit guideline. So there are four category, uh, any binary which is installed senuid or setgid, and anything which provides a service over a network, and any remotely accessible CGI PHP script. And then anything which contains a cron job or other automated script which runs with root privileges. But we defined higher priority because we focus only focus executable binary. So this is our redefined higher priority. Any binary which is uh, installed senuid or gid and anything which provides a service not only over a network so for senuid and gid uh, we found uh, 29 binaries 28 packages and for service uh, we found 123 binaries and 36 packages. And let's rebuilding with hardening option. Generally, Debian package building process uh, have three parts. Uh, one is this part, the package source. Uh, this command get we can get by this command, we can get source code. And second is mkbuild depth. Uh, by this command, we installed dependence packages. Uh, this dpkg build package command actually uh, building uh, Debian packages. Uh, for enabling compiler option, and we can append like this, uh, dpkg build packages option, dep c plugs append, and uh, cxx plugs append, and ld plugs append. The first one is safe stack 
build a safe stack compiler option. And at the last, last one is uh, CFI compiler hardening option. Our first target is a systemd package. As you already know that, uh, systemd is very, very important. And uh, the, they have PID1. Now I'm talking about how we build a systemd and solve the build error and testing error problem. The First problem we meet is the link time error. During the link time, CFI related function can't found. This is CFI slow pass undefined is reference. So this is this error is arised by no undefined it, defined uh, option. This is Mason default option. System D used Mason D build system. So when uh, building shared library, uh, undefined symbol will be shown as link error. For this, uh, for solving this error, we append on reserved symbol option link. This is link linker option, and we can disable no undefined options. So we solved this problem. But there are another uh, problem, testing error. After solving build error, we encounter so many testing fail error. If we do not pass this, Testing, we do not get Debian package files. There are many 52 fail and that commonly related to CFI violation. For example, the testing of system D TMP files is cute like this command and this output std error, but this is Python script error. Actual error is illegal instruction error. This illegal instruction error is arised by CFI violation. If a CFI check fail, the UD2 instruction is good. On the right side, you can see where violation arised. In this case, uh, base bucket hash is the location function. In the base bucket hash function, hash is called, the hash is function pointer. At this point, hash refer to string hash function. The string hash function is the target function. At this time, CFI check whether the string hash is in the CFI jump table. Like this, uh, hash has hash function type hash have hash function type hash function t type the hash function t type have some function type uh, get two type two argument void structure and return void type. But string hash function have function type character and structure argument and return void. So this is time mismatching. This is the violation. Also, string hash function is not in CFI jump table. Let's think about this is really wrong. Uh, this is general interface 
design in C program language. This callback architecture is broadly used in C programming. But in aspects of security, void type argument is not recommended. The table shows the headers related to CFI violation. Many callback functions are in the header. Most CFI violation writes in the header hash function H. Uh, there are 46 violations. These are the, uh, all related to CFI violation. And there are many, many callback functions like string hash function. And last, uh, this is testing error with safe stack. And uh, 74 fail happened. Like CFI case, no pass, no depth. This is uh, this error of segment fault. This error arised in RDRAND function. Simply said, this assembly code is very, very old. Follow me. Uh, RDRAND save random value to register RAX and Set B, instruction save the result of RDRAND fail or success to some address saved in register RAX. This is a strange point. RAX is used as address, but RAX is a random value. So seg segment fault arrives. This RAX register must be replaced to another register. Why this happened? This is because of instrumented code by safe stack. In some reason, uh, when compiling through uh, safe stack instrument path, register replacement problem remain unsolved. Uh, actually, this is safe stack problem, not a system problem. And how can we fix CFI violation? Uh, simply, we modify uh, time mismatch part, character time to void. But this is not a good solution because uh, the source code have to be modified. Uh, or we have another option, we can change callback architecture, but it also have many cost issues. So we uh, handle this problem by using LLVM uh, sanitizer special case list. Now this is blank list which have function and source code name. Uh, the function and source code uh, written on blank list uh, doesn't be checked by sanitizer like safe stack or CFI. Left side is a syntax of sanitizer blank list, a function name or source code name. Uh, right side is uh, sanitizer blank list for system D. Finally, uh, append blank list option like this, we can pass the, the all test case, which is failed by CFI and safe stack. And we get a Debian package file. In additionally, and we checked uh, whether the binary is really compiled with CFI safe stack compiler option. 
Uh, check sec two is uh, it's uh, a bash script to check the security properties of executables. Many attackers or security experts use these tools. Uh, as you can see, the check sec result, uh, CLANG CFI, and safe stack uh, is implemented in the binaries. And now uh, we rebuild packages in virtual environment. And each package have each, uh, each one virtual rebuilding environment like this, apt, bash, color d, core utils. After building package completely, we snapshot the uh, virtual machine. Especially uh, dbus, package have dependency on system D library. So uh, we uh, have to uh, uh, rebuilding process after building system D and after installed hardened system D library, uh, we uh, building, rebuilding DBoss library, DBoss packages. This is table showed the, the result uh, of our our uh, our, our result, and we identify one hundred to twenty three services. Each services have a binary, and uh, each binary is included in some packages. We rebuild each packages and reach almost 87% and 86%. And another option, 90, almost 10, 100%. But that is not a 100% result. There are many reasons. Uh, fail to rebuilding with the CFI and safe stack. The region is explained later. This is a senuide, set GI result, and there are uh, 20, 29 senuide, set GI binaries, and we reach it uh, almost uh, 90, 93% and uh, in CFI, safe stack. Another options are reach almost 96%. Last chapter. Um, we have been get many, many experience from rebuilding lots of packages. If you try, to hardening this package, you may meet the following problem I already met. First is GCC dependence problem. Uh, some packages that default CC is GCC. So we have to modify default CC to C rank. And another problem is build error by CLANG. Some features are not compatible with CLANG. As you can see the Debian wiki, this wiki, Debian community continuously rebuild testing with CLANG and there are many types of errors Actually, to solve the problem, in some case, uh, need to modify source code. That is uh, uh, hard to modify source code. So this is hard to do. Another issue is testing error. 
uh, like system decays, if there are callback function and indirect call, uh, CFI violation arise. Yes, this can be solved by sanitizer blank list. But we have to uh, choose uh, we use blank list or we modify the source code. Because uh, blank list is another security hole. So we have to decide. And another problem is uh, not all packages have a test, test case and test, test suite. System D have a, a lot of test suite and we can find many errors before install and execution. But uh, if there are not test, test suite, after install packages, error may occur during execution. So this errors, this uh, issues, GCC dependency issue and testing error issue, you may encounter during rebuilding packages with CFI and safe stack. Conclusion, uh, most packages can be rebuilt uh, with the safe stack and CFI, but uh, that is not, a, not perfectly rebuilding all, but it was a try. And uh, for more secure uh, Linux system uh, and uh, raising the bar, for attacker and uh, reduce some possibility of attack success, you have to try an error. Thank you.